Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly forex forecast for the 29th of January to the 2nd of February 2018. I hope you're all enjoying your Saturday and having a nice weekend. As normal, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the US dollar index and oil, and we're going to run through a number of markets looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're going to be looking at targets that we're looking for, upcoming targets in the week ahead or weeks ahead, because sometimes they take a little bit longer. Now, just before we begin very quickly, I have something to share with you guys. Now, some of you may know I was invited early last year to contribute and provide analysis for FX Street. And I'm very pleased to announce that I have been shortlisted for this year's Forex Best Awards from FX Street in the best new contributor category. Now, I love reading your emails telling me that this is helping you. These videos are helping you start to begin to understand the markets and start to make profits. And now it's my turn to appeal to help for you guys and ask you to please, please lend your support to myself and Portex by voting for us in the upcoming Forex Best Awards. I would really, really appreciate that. And it'd be a great way for you guys, as I say, to show your support to us. Now, you can do that simply by clicking in the link in the description below, which is the voting form. And you can find us in the last category near the bottom in the best new contributor section. Now, just to show our appreciation to you all, what we're going to do if we win is we're going to stream a free live webinar on YouTube for all of you, you're all invited. And we're gonna do an educational Q&A session where you guys can ask me anything you like, any issues you have with trading. We can try and get them ironed out in the webinar for you. Anything you're not sure about, if you want to look at potential setups in the market live as they're happening when we do the webinar, all of these things is gonna be nothing off the table. It's gonna be solely designed to help you guys out and to fix any issues you may be having with your trading. So a massive thank you for those of you who go and do that. A huge, huge thank you. And of course, we'll keep you updated as to the results when they come out. So with that said, let's jump over to the charts for this week's weekly Forex forecast. Now, starting with the US dollar index, last week we came down and we broke below the key area of support around the 90.19 over here. And we actually achieved both targets in the US dollar index last week. And we sit just above the key level of 88.46 in the US dollar index. Now, what we're looking for preferably is a pullback and a correction and possibly a retest of broken support turning resistance. And if this type of price action happens, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish patterns in the US dollar index. And we're going to be looking all the way down, first of all, to the first target. And as you can see, we're priced all down over here at the 88.46. And if we can break through here, we're going to be looking for a continuation down towards target two at the 87.05. So we go into this week with a bearish bias on the US dollar index. However, we are also aware that we may be in for a correction before further declines come into the US dollar index. Next, we have oil. Now, last week we had a really nice move in oil and it was another market in which we accomplished our target from last week's weekly forex forecast. And in fact, we took a live trade, a really nice one in the uh, live rooms in this it was a really decent move last week in oil now you can see oil is still pushing to the upside and very simply put what we're looking for in oil this week is a pullback and a test of broken resistance turning as support and if we get a pullback here possibly in this corrective pattern like this known as an abc if we get this kind of pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support this is going to be another great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns and if we get those patterns, we get the right kind of bullish formations and patterns in this area, we're going to be looking up towards the target and the next key air resistance to the upside at the 68.63. Next, we have the euro dollar. Now, last week, we achieved our targets in the euro dollar as well. There's another market in which the targets were achieved. And you can see we finished the week sitting at a key area resistance around the 1.25026. Now going into this week, what we'd like to see is a pullback, especially if we're going to get a pullback in the US dollar index. If we get a pullback and a correction down towards this area, preferably a retest of previous resistance turning support, then this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking to go long. First of all, back up to the top and the first target at 1.25026. And if we can get a break through here, if and when we get a break through this key area of resistance, we're going to be looking for the next target to the upside, next key area of resistance to the upside 
the 1.2606. Next we have pound dollar. Now pound dollar was another market last week that performed really nicely and it took out our target to the upside which we set from last week's weekly forex forecast. We're currently sitting at a key area of resistance at 1.4337 and so what we'd like to see is a pullback, a retest of broken resistance over here turning support at the 1.4007 roughly and if we get a pullback somewhere in this area but preferably if we can come all the way back and test the broken resistance and support that would be the most preferable type of price action setup and if we get that kind of price action and pull back anywhere into this area this correction we're going to use this to look for bullish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking to take longs up towards the first target at the 1.4337 if we can get a breakthrough here you can see we do have another target but it's quite close at the 1.4395 and if we can clear both of these targets to the upside in these two key areas of resistance we're going to be looking for a third target ultimately up towards the 1.4572 next we have the us dollar japanese yen now last week the us dollar japanese yen did also come down and clear out the target that we had set from last week's weekly forex forecast and you can see it finished the week coming close to the next key area of support to the downside the 108.146 now the problem that this gives us when we have this kind of scenario is that we don't really have much room to the first target down here. So what we would like to see going into next week is a correction. If we do get a correction in the US dollar index, a correction and a pullback and a test, primarily this would be the preferential move. If we can get a test of broken support, as you can see, turning resistance in this area, this is going to be a great place to start to look to initiate shorts on this pair. We're going to be looking back down to accomplish the first target next key area of support to the downside at the 108.146 and if we get a break through here we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support and the next target to the downside the 107.391 next we have new zealand dollar now last week new zealand dollar also came out and cleared out the targets we had set from last week's weekly forex forecast and in fact the 0 0.73323 you can see broken resistance turning support over here this was the first target that we had set from last week now we have already broken and come back to retest this key area of resistance and support. So going into next week where we sit right now, this area provides a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those bullish formations and patterns from where we sit here at the support area, we're going to start looking for longs in the New Zealand dollar to the upside. We're going to be looking first of all to the top over here, as you can see we've already tested it once, and the target of the 0 0.7. 4314 and if we can get a breakthrough here we're going to be looking for a continuation up towards the second target and the next key area of resistance to the upside the 0 0.74825 next we have us dollar franc now last week the us dollar franc did decline as expected and hit both of the targets that we had set from last week and you can see the second target to the downside we had here was 0 0.94477 it actually came through this target and pulled back to retest once over here but it hasn't quite come down yet to test the second target of the next key area support to the downside down here so preferably what we'd like to see going into this week is a correction and a pullback and another test of broken support turning resistance in this area if we get this kind of price action this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns we're going to be looking at shorting those first of all down to the target and the next key area of support to the downside which is yet to be hit at 0 0.92698 and we're preferably looking for a continuation of the downtrend, looking for a break through this key area of support before we start to look for the next key area of support to the downside and target two, and the 0 0.91641. Next, we have US dollar CAD. Now, we actually still have the targets open from last week and these key areas of support to the downside from last week's weekly forex forecast. We did say we were in this range last week, sitting between these levels here, and we wanted to see a pullback preferably a test a retest up here at the top of the range but anywhere in this area we'd start to look for shorting opportunities first of all looking down towards the bottom of the range as you can see down here before further declines to the key area of support to the downside now we did have a sell-off from this area and we, we broke through the bottom of the range and we pulled back to test it you can see broken support turning resistance over here so what we'd like to see now going into this week is a pullback and possibly even a retest of broken support at the bottom of this range turning resistance and if we get a retest this is going to be a great place to start to look for a second entry or a second opportunity in this pair and we're going to be looking again to the target set out from last week the next key area of support to the downside at the 1.22394 and if we get a break through here we're going to be looking for a continuation down towards the next key area of support to the downside in target two at the 1.21589
Next, we have Aussie dollar. Now, last week we had a nice move up, and you can see we took out and we hit both targets from last week. In fact, we finished the week just by tagging the second target to the upside at 0 0.81236, which we had set from last week's weekly forex forecast. So very simply put, we're just looking for a pullback and a possible retest of broken resistance turning support. You can see it did it here. But if we get this kind of price action and another retest of support over here, this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at taking longs, first of all, back up to the top here at the 81. Two, three, six. But if we can break through this area, we're going to be looking up towards the next key area to the upside, the 0 0.81624. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking ultimately up towards the second target of the 0 0.82209. And finally, we have gold. Now, last week, we continued this uptrend in gold, unsurprisingly. We were, we were looking for longs in gold last week. And you can see we broke above this key area resistance over here the 1345.94 and we have already come back and retested broken resistance of support now going into this week we sit just above this key area of support and this is a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns in gold and if we start to get those bullish formations and patterns from this area well, as long as we stay above this key area of support we're going to be looking for longs and we're going to be looking for longs up towards the first target in the next key area resistance to the upside as you can see not yet been hit at the 1367.31 and ideally, we're looking for a break through here up towards the next key air resistance to the upside and target two at the 103.75.27. So that is it from me for this week, guys. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday and the rest of your weekend. For those of you who do lend your support to us and vote for us in the Forex Best Awards, let me just say in advance, thank you so much. We do really appreciate it. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed so far. Thank you to those of you who like and share these videos on a regular basis and who comment on these on a regular basis as well. So thank you to all of you as well. So with that, guys, the only thing left to say is take care and don't forget to trade safely next week.